And as 2019 winds down, you may be thinking about what you want to do for the New Year's resolution that you're thinking about. A survey shows about four in 10 Americans plan to make a New Year's resolution on Wednesday. Half of those want to be more active and two of five of those want to lose weight. And that's going to mean a whole lot of new faces at gyms around Austin. Chris Davis checking in with a couple of those gyms, Chris, to see how the regulars are going to deal with all those people who are going to be going into the gym trying to lose some weight. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, there is a pretty clear trend here, especially among the big global gym chains of an increase in memberships in January. In fact, a lot of them will even offer deals to get more people to sign up. But it's not just those new members who are crowding the weight rooms. Two, it gets real slow around November, December. Everybody has all the excuses of why they can't come in. New year. And 10, good. Same old, same old. January hits, you wake up in the morning, probably a little groggy from the night before, and you're just like, oh my God. I need to get myself back together. Jennifer Fry is a trainer. Two. She used to work at a well-known Austin gym, and she says the surge is real. January through February, you see just hundreds of people come in. The only way to prepare, she says, is to make sure current clients know what to expect. Nice, Ted, good. So you're going to notice evenings are going to be packed. Miles Hartman lifts weights at a smaller South Austin gym after leaving a big chain. Over time, he noticed new members find different times that work with their schedules. The density of people starts to spread out a little bit. His advice, to avoid the big crowds and to maintain that resolution, shop around. Don't just go for the best deal. I was looking for somewhere that I would consistently show up to, somewhere that I consistently felt comfortable at. Go right into those lunges. Crowds or not, Jennifer says, the key is just showing up. If you're determined, it doesn't matter how many people are in there. You know, you go there, you get your space, you get it done, it doesn't matter. And for all of you gym regulars out there who might be dreading the first week of the new year, you can take heart in knowing that studies show about a third of resolutions don't make it past January. We'll send it back to you. <laughs> okay, Chris, thanks for the warning. So how much should adults exercise every day? The Department of Health and Human Services recommends the following. Two and a half hours of moderate or 75 minutes of a week, a week. Oh, we, I know, right? A so week. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> a vigorous aerobic activity. I think that's what they're saying. Do strength training exercises for all major muscle groups at least two times a week. And then don't forget to chat with your doctor about exercise, especially if you have a chronic illness.